Hey everyone, this is Abhinand from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial. This time we're gonna create abstract cubes in Houdini. Actually, I'm inspired by the Lee Griggs work which he does in uh, Maya with the help of XGen. So he created this kind of artifacts. So it was looking pretty cool. So I thought let's create in Houdini and let's see what we will get after that. So after doing some test I got these results okay so these results so I hope you will enjoy this tutorial this is very short tutorial so there is a basic setup and after that you can definitely tweak can add some more things to that and after that you can definitely implement more things and uh, add a few more attributes to change the look so let's jump into here Houdini so here we are in Houdini so by default uh, we will create a geo node so in this group we will create everything so let's take it abstract uh, cubes okay let's dive into it and create a grid which is plain okay and 10 by 10 is fine okay and next we will create the UV project node so you UV project okay let's connect it here okay okay let's change the parameters over here okay in the rotation rotation X let's put it 90 and the scale value like we have in our uh, grid like 10 by 10 X and Y okay now we need to add a next node which will be the attribute from map so that we can apply this map on this projection okay so let's create that attribute from map okay let's connect over here and okay one more thing we need to do is in the grid we need to add the subdivision so to do that we will add like around 200 by 200 so now i can see the maps clearly because of the subdivisions okay here so here our map is looking inverted so in this tab image settings just click on this invert v so you'll see the map properly now attach the maps okay whatever the map you want to attach look at like I'm gonna use the image from this you can add any image you like to okay and here if you see if you're not showing anything like you can't see the thumbnail of the image just right click here and click on show images so you will see the images properly I'm gonna select the image which I want to apply uh, maybe okay let's take this one mm, now let's select another one okay let's take this one okay so now our map is projected on the plane on the grid okay next we need to create a attribute attribute create node let's add that node uh, attribute create okay so we will create the attribute extrude the faces according to the color map okay so select your attribute create map and here in the class we need to select the primitive okay and in here in this value we need to create an attribute called dollar c b okay so by creating this attribute we are applying uh, point colors okay so this been created so now let's extrude the geometry okay so to do that we will create a poly extrude poly extrude node okay and here we need to change few things okay let's try to extrude once 0.5 i guess and let's see what it does okay so what it what what it's creating is uh, it's uh, extruding the faces 
overall so we don't want that so here in divide into it says connected components we need to change it we need to have individual elements so we want each and every face to be extruded according to the point color okay so still nothing happening after changing that so we need to change one more setting over here let's go to your local control okay and uh, let's first of all disable this put it zero okay sometimes because of more geometry your system will hang according to your processor and all so it depends on you so let's go again in here local control enable this option called distance scale okay so by default it's showing the z scale okay so here we will add the attribute which we created in attribute create which is color scale let's add that and now again then now again we will extrude let's see what it comes okay again nothing is happening okay so guys i did a mistake actually uh, what i'm applying here is correct but in the attribute create option i didn't create any attribute it's by default attribute okay so let's change that first of all so let's enable this option and here we will type color scale okay now the attribute is created now again we'll see how it extrude so now you can see it's working okay now i extruded according to the point colors so if i extrude more like around 0.8 something so you can see that it's properly working and that's how i created this kind of effects okay it's completely depend on the image okay by the colors uh, if you want to add more detail okay like if i see over here uh, maybe here okay so what we can do is go to your grid first of all disable this okay go to your grid and instead of 200 by 200 rows we will in, uh, increase the uh, subdivision so that they will be uh, very small faces so that it will look more detailed okay so let's make it 600 by 600 okay so you can see that these little tiny faces cubes okay now again we'll extrude and let's see how it looks now you can see the detailed and it looks really pretty uh, if i'm compare, comparing with the earlier one so it depends on you you can add more details okay and uh, yeah that's how you can create these kinds of uh, effects i hope you guys like this tutorial it's very quick and there are many tutorials like this on youtube but i thought uh, let's give it give it a try and because uh, it's very easy and very fast to create these kind of effects in hoodie so i'm attaching the uh, project files with this tutorial also so you can like see and check uh, if something goes wrong with your setup and uh, i hope you will like and subscribe this channel and share with your colleagues and don't forget to press the bell icon so that uh, whenever i am uploading the tutorials you will get the notification and if you like you can support me on the gumroad i have uploaded few project files and i'm uploading more project files so you can buy them if you want to okay so till then we'll see you next time with the more exciting tutorials bye bye